At the U.S. Army Chemical Corps Proving Ground, tests were conducted using an F-100 aircraft equipped with an experimental spray device developed by one of the large aviation companies. One purpose of these tests was to establish the feasibility of producing BW aerosols in the most effective particle size range as a low-level line source from high-speed aircraft. Wind tunnel tests had shown that effective aerosols could be produced by discharging the BW agent into a high-velocity airstream. To confirm the wind tunnel test data, an aerial mission was conducted using a BW incapacitating agent. Flying at subsonic speed, the F-100 disseminated the liquid agent along a 15-mile line upwind of the test grid. Data from these tests were used to determine the effective coverage that could be expected with an operational type spray system employing the basic principles of the experimental device. This study showed that one fighter aircraft flying on the deck and dispensing two wing tanks of a liquid BW agent would cause infection in more than 50% of the populace in an area 125 miles long by 30 miles deep. Three large aircraft could release sufficient agent to infect over 50% of the people in an area equivalent to a belt 140 miles wide extending from New York to Chicago, comparable to the total area of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana.